Okay, welcome to the breakdown, which is looking at the message from yesterday. Um, the message was called Feeling It 100. Um, and I kind of, this is Nick. And hello. Leanne, if you don't know hi. them, there, there you go. They say hello. <laughs> and, um, and basically, we're just going to break down what the message said yesterday to us, um, how it spoke to us. I spoke to you guys. And, um, and for you guys watching online or maybe listening on podcasts, um, maybe just um, if you can get into comments and just say what spoke to you too so we can interact with you guys and pray with you that'd be great so um, feeling at 100 really really quick summary yeah that's the word summary yes. um, knowing that as we enter into the things that God has for us that if we can come into the understanding that we're not actually ever going to be feeling it 100%, we're, we're always going to have handicaps and things that aren't quite right or things that haven't lined up that day. But but actually, if we just push on and do it, then actually we will see God and we will see yeah. the results of, of, of that. Um, and often, if you're like me, uh, or the past me anyway, um, that you would be more like, oh, that's an excuse to quit or that's an excuse not to do it. That's a, oh, there's a reason why I can't do it. I'm not feeling 100%. So actually I'm not going to push through with it and then we don't really ever get it done and we never make it so that's kind of like a, a quick summary of it and then uh, just the second part of that was also just for me understanding that how the enemy can work um in trying to stop you like like i just shared but also how the enemy can work in your mind and how i started to realize that i wasn't allowing god to heal my wounds and that i was walking around wounded with a lot of wounds um, thinking I'm okay because I just dusted myself off and moved on to the next thing because I'm like I'm a Christian and I'm strong in the Lord and I wear the armor of God but yeah. realizing I'm meant to do business with God so that's yeah. kind of the yeah. the two kind of <clears throat> main parts of the story so um go on Nick do you, did you right. yeah what, what did God speak to you th um, through yeah it was um there was quite a lot in there about process with God um you know God is God being in the growing and in um, what he wants to do in us, um, that, that ongoing work of God and not always getting it, what he wants, what he wants us to learn. Yeah. Um, and taking sometimes a good hard look at ourselves um, and just working through that with God. Yeah. Um, I loved, you know, the analogy of um, going to the gym that you were talking about. You know, you had the intention of going to the gym but then there was all of a sudden all these different obstacles that made it a real challenge to follow through with your good intentions. Um, and even when you were there on the treadmill, you've made, you've made it, you know, you, you avoided the temptation of going to McDonald's, which was yeah. pretty much next door to the gym. Yeah. You avoided going to Costa's. Um, you, you, you managed to go to Asda to get like your sandwich or your croissant. Um, so you'd kind of not gone the full hog on the McDonald's. And then you're like, oh, but maybe I'm not feeling well enough. You know, I'm feeling a little bit coldy. Can I justify going to the gym? You broke through all of that stuff. You ended up at the gym after quite a while. And, you know, all of the, the feelings of self-doubt of, well, you know, everyone here is already looking pretty fit. And, and maybe I should just walk out the door because I feel out of fish out of water or whatever. Yeah. Made your way to the treadmill, past all of the other machines that look too intimidating. You can do the treadmill. You get on the treadmill. And then you just have to look down and start laughing because there's this big massive button that says stop, which is obviously like you said, for health and safety reasons, you can whack that and then it stops the treadmill from, from turning. Um, but you were just like, I've even made it onto the treadmill after all of that. And there's still this massive button that's saying stop. And it's almost laughable, but having that, being able to laugh in that moment is really powerful because um, it's an analogy for a lot of obstacles that can, come in the way yeah. when we, we when we know what we should be doing uh, in our walk with God in, a, in our journey with God in the, in following through with the promptings that he convicts us to do which is the right development um, but learning that our obstacles are just part of that they're just part of that but yeah. I, I believe and I've experienced that when we push through those those little barriers they all mean something in the spiritual realm yeah. you know Jesus can use those experiences of the trial to um, enable us to be more intimidating to the enemy that might yeah. want to try and put things on us in the future because we've broken through those trials. Yeah. 
So it's all equipping and enabling. And I, just, I kind of really love that, that whole uh, imagery of, of the gym because it really is so true. You know, it, it's really hard to be intentional sometimes. Yeah. But when you follow through with it, it's just recognizing those obstacles. Yeah. But then growing through that, it's all about growing with God yeah. and realizing, ah, oh, yeah, I could have, I could do that better. Or actually, yeah. I'm complaining about something, but am I justified in complaining about those yeah. things? So and yeah, that, that, like that stop button. So the the initiation of something is hard, mm. but it's nothing compared to being on the treadmill. Yeah, and having the way out. Yeah, and that is the aware, the awareness. I think of our walk with God is that actually, that God was challenge us to start the process and we think oh i've started it like i've got to the gym mm. i've got into that place that's now. a good point but then god is saying no no this is where it really gets tough mm. because there yeah. always will be a way out yeah and it will get tough it will get sweaty you know you're gonna you're gonna your energy is gonna you're gonna get pain yeah. you're gonna, all these things are gonna happen and, and obviously that's an analogy of the gym but in in our walk with god is that we're gonna feel pain on the in the process mm. And then I think then you, you, but you've always got that button that you can press to get out. Like God, no one's really holding a gun to your head. And I think I shared yeah. that yesterday, like self-motivation or self-discipline yeah. is a major part of our Christianity. Like no one else is going to make you do it. God's not even going to make you do it. He'll give you the tools to do it, but he's not going to make you do it. He's not holding a gun to your head. He's convicting you and challenging you, but you've still got to get up and do it, haven't you? So to actually go to the gym mm. when no one's making you go to the gym mm. is a really hard thing to do yeah as opposed to mm. i guess like um yeah if if you had something that made you do it sort of thing mm. so yeah what about you leanne i think the the whole message drew me back to um remembering that everything with god is a process um and i could really like resonate with the with the gym story because back when rich did the intentional um sermon back in july yeah. i was really motivated really inspired and i was like right this is it this is my my summer i'm gonna get fit and i am gonna get back doing my workouts yeah. and i thought that i could just go straight back into where i left off i thought yep I can do it. I'll just yeah. pick back where I left off doing the, the same workouts that I was doing when I was like three stone lighter, but it didn't work out that way. Yeah. Yeah. I hurt my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I I've still got an injury yeah. from that. Yeah. So yesterday I was like, yeah, there's always a process mm. with God. And the, um, the, the sort of the picture that, that Rich said about having the wounds and then putting on your armor over the top of the wounds, mm. that really stood out to me. Um, and I, it, it sort of got me to thinking about how when we can sometimes feel like we've been healed of a certain yeah, yeah. thing mm -hmm. and we think, yeah. oh yeah, I'm walking in that healing, mm -hmm. I'm walking in that place, then all of a sudden, out of the blue, yeah. catch mm -hmm. you completely off guard, you find that you're then back in um, a headspace that you're feeling all of the pain that you once yeah. felt yeah. Um, yeah. and you're 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 dealing with a, a new situation in the same way that you felt that you'd already received healing yeah. from um and i kind of um was thinking earlier about how um like when we injure ourselves physically if we injured ourselves then we know we need healing we need healing of that wound we have to make that decision to um, allow a physician to examine us. We, they, they have to get to the bottom. Mm. They need to know how it's happened, why it's happened, um, what, your, um, what your healing journey needs to be. Um, and that can sometimes be r a really painful process. We know yeah, yeah. we need the mm. healing. We know we need to submit to somebody who knows they're going to be able to do it. And like in the same way that um, God is the, the great physician, he, we need to allow him that access yeah. to our um, internal wounds. Yes. And mm. that is um, painful yeah. because we know yeah. once that we've allowed that process to, to start, we mm. have to see it through to the end. And it can be, there's going to be pain either way. There's going to be pain for us to stay in the trauma or the the hurt that we've experienced, and to keep living out and reacting out of that same same place of hurt. Mm. Um, mm. But there's also going to be pain to to walk back through and have yeah. ourselves examined mm. um, and to accept what will be 
the healing process. Yeah. So for me, it was reminding me that that journey is going to be continual yeah. with God, and that to be on it, you're never going to we're never going to get to a place where we're completely feeling. Yeah today's the day that I'm ready to yeah. Yeah. set that. So that's a really we, important point. We're yeah. not going to yeah. be at 100%. So just got to get, get on. It, yeah, it was yeah. just a really for me, just yeah. that real realization yeah. that it's yeah. back to process, but also remembering, remembering that God is so faithful that um, to it's, it does it, you know it's good to look back at the things that he has done the things mm. that he, he has absolutely helped so you overcome important. and the things that he has yeah. healed um, yeah. but but acknowledging that it's no good to just yeah put an armor back on on yeah. things that aren't healed we can think in our own strength yep I've dealt yeah. with that it's done but obviously wounds will attract more yeah. wounds because you're yeah. just putting your if you're going back out into battle already wounded you're going to be attracting more wounds yeah. mm. you're be wound after yeah. wound after wound and, and then, then eventually you're going to be yeah. Yeah. out of the I think yeah I think the really important thing about that is um that really resonates with me is 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 keep coming back to to God um just keep coming back to him and and, and handing things over don't try and do things in our own strength yeah. and know that that that's a good thing to be doing. It's a yeah. good thing. It, it may not always be easy. Mm. Like yeah. mm. it's not easy to be t to come to the place of oh God, please do some work on on me in a certain area. Yeah. Or I've, it's going to be painful to hand over something that is that has yeah. actually got some some pay, um, some trauma associated to it. Or mm -hmm. you know the thing that we want to hide, that we want to put the armor over it. Mm. We don't want to kind of face up to that. Um, but the thing is. God's grace and mercy and love and faithfulness yeah. um, is always geared towards ours and his best interests. Yeah. Um, and so we can only be in, in a winning situation if we just keep coming back to yeah. him and, and giving it to him. And, and Jesus Christ says, doesn't he, and I think you, you may have mentioned this in the sermon, Jesus is there is with, his, with open hands saying, give me your burdens. Yeah. Um, and so... He died to be able to do that, mm. so that we, yeah. we can come to him and he can, and the, but, but there's, there's gotta be that intentionality to hand yeah. the thing over to Jesus Christ and not just brush it under the carpet yeah. or hide it and try and push on through and battle on. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's that facing up to it yeah. that, that really does change things for the better. You, you're in a much better place after doing yeah. that do you think, than if you're trying to hide it. Do you think it. like God's, so, like, so for me, in my post, as I shared yesterday, but like we did the message shift ground in October, end of October, I think. And that was all about pursuing holiness. And I was very yeah. clear on like, even on my own journey of saying like, I know God wants me here, but I can't go there yet. And I obviously mm -hmm. shared that with other people and some people felt the same thing for themselves. Mm -hmm. But I would never have really sat down with God in that moment and been like, oh, actually I've got issues like with my wounds. Mm -hmm. Um, I got it. So obviously, part of the I was like, I was like you, you know, after that message, I'm like, I'm going to join the gym. I got, I know I need to put these things in place. I never really realized that actually, I'm not reading my Bible because I'm not fit. Mm. I'm not reading my Bible because I'm not sleeping well. Like, and I'm not sleeping well because I'm not eating well. Like, yeah. so actually, these things that I can really change, even though it might be quite hard, mm. are going to benefit me in my walk with God. Yeah. Even though I would never associate those two things together, because I think, well, why can't I just wake up tomorrow and read my Bible? Why can't I just pray late at night or whatever it is? And God's like, well, you can do those mm. things, mm. but actually, there are things that your body is restricting you and doing that you can yeah. change like your diet or your health and then the other side of it talking about my mental battle was like that that i need to go here this is what i'm doing so in that moment when we're all sat there going okay god we submit we want to go we want to pursue holiness god was then saying to showing me a little bit further down the line as my health got impacted and my mental state was being affected it was like yeah you've got problems and actually, that's why you can't go in and pursue holiness, because what you're going to do is you're going to actually seek darkness when somebody comes in and says something um, to you that you haven't dealt with with me, that then leads you into a, into a cave that's not good, and that puts you in a bad place that then impacts and affects the church, your family, your, yourself. So that needs to, and like he said to me, I mean, I, I worded it different yesterday, and I said mature, mm. but I, he actually said, you need to grow up, mm. is what I felt he said to me. Like, you've just got to grow up, and you've yeah. got to, you can't do that anymore. You can't be that person anymore. You're too valuable yeah. to do that. 
So like just that realization that even though we want to seek holiness and even though we want to be in the presence of God and even though we want to we want to honor him, God's like, yeah, that's great. But you need to go through the process of letting me do the surgery, which is going to be painful. And it's going to mean that you're going to have to I'm going to have to heal wounds that are painful. And you're going to actually have to give me things that maybe you quite like holding on to sometimes like a bad, like mm. I said, like a badge of honor. Of like I was wounded like a toddler with the plaster, like, oh, look what I've got. I've got a baddie. And it's like you're showing that off to everyone, but actually God's saying, you can't be that anymore. You're not a toddler anymore. Yeah. You've got to grow up. When you're an adult, you don't go around showing yeah. off your plaster, yeah. do you? Yeah. And God's saying, you've got to stop being the toddler and you've actually got to let these things go. You've got to give them to me. I'll deal with them yeah. if I need to deal with them. Yeah. But actually learning that too. So like, um, just as we're kind of finishing, we've got like about a few more minutes, but like trying to kind of, is, are you shocked that when, God is giving you a, me a message, a, 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 like a mission or a, 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 an incentive to do something that you like, you know, you want to go on that journey with God, but then you're realizing like, oh God, I never knew that that was the barrier. Like, did you, have you, have you seen that in your life? Like, as in like, yeah. oh, that's the barrier. Like yeah. I didn't, I would never have yeah. that Not together. I mean, it. Yeah. so many of the things that um, over the last few years that um, like I've surrendered to God and he's finally t took away. Um, I didn't think, like, for instance, that like the, the way the way my diet was would be impacting my the rest of my spiritual journey. Yeah. I was thinking, like, well, yeah, you know, I'm not um, using this or using that, so I can be completely yeah. um, in tune with yeah. the Holy Spirit, walking in the Spirit. But actually, no, I wasn't because, like you said, I was lethargic. I was yeah. tired. Yeah, same thing, um, yeah. I was um, not completely um, obedient to what yeah. the the Lord was calling me to, mm. to do each day because yeah. I had other things at the forefront of my mind. So getting to that place of thinking, oh, actually, that is serious. Yeah. That, yeah. that That is. I, I don't need to be um, putting that in the way. Yeah. I, don't, mm. I, need to, yeah. I need to remove that so I can stay yeah. in alignment. And have you yeah. found that yeah. when you've done that, it changed yes. the spiritual? Yeah. Yes. What about you, Nick? Yeah, I think there's, there's a lot in the, the, the again, going, kind of going back to the process with God, um, that he surprises us, that, that often we can be looking out and going, oh yeah, no, that, that can be fixed, that can be fixed, that can be fixed. But then the finger gets pointed on us every now and again. And, but again, it comes back to the grace of God and yeah. his patience towards us. Yeah. But we're all ongoing works in progress with yeah. God. Um, and th I think the important thing is that, that we need to really go on with God through those things. Yeah for then God to be able to work with us. He partners with us. Yeah. He, wants, he wants a really healthy relationship with us. Mm. Um, but it's often in, you know, it reveals itself as being in God's timing that, yeah. oh, now he wants me to deal with that thing. And I never really saw that that was an issue. Yeah. Um, but it is an issue because yeah. if, unless it's resolved, then we can't really step into yeah. like the next place where God wants yeah, us absolutely. to be going into. Yeah. Um, and that can be a little bit uncomfortable yeah. and painful and you've got to kind of just do some business with God and that's challenging. Yeah. Mm. But it's all, it's all for the betterment for of everything. Benefit, yeah, it's for absolutely. everyone's benefit, yeah. For everyone's benefit. And um, yeah. I think there was something else I was just remembering that you were saying about um, yesterday about getting to the point where it's not about other people's problems yeah it's about they're not the problem they're not the problem it's it's actually yeah me and yeah. it's taking yeah. ownership of that yeah and that being okay yeah like that's absolutely fine god yeah. wants us to get to that place yeah. um because then he can really step on with yeah. us as in partnership with us to then it, move in his it was power it was how him. what god was saying to me is like people can be cruel people can do things you know but how you react is the problem is what he said that's, to me like yeah, how you react it. to it is yeah. actually the problem because if you don't like this scripture says and it come to me um all who labor and heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and and um learn from me um yeah i think like understanding that is that realization like oh okay god even though i know that's truth like that's what when things like that come i seem to deal with it differently yeah. when god's saying no you need to deal with it a completely different way to how you've been handling it because yeah, that's, that's actually the rubber hits actually that's right. real like he's mm. not taking away what's actually going yeah. on but yeah. he's saying i will deal with that yeah. and i will take care of that but that's what my scripture says but 
you're not handling it right. And because you're not handling it right, now it's leading you into the wrong mm. places. And that's the thing that you need to change. That's the thing you yeah. gotta grow up with. So that's what I realized was like, oh, okay, God. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm not actually doing yeah. what I need to mm. do with what's coming at me. Mm. So if I'm really a follower of Christ, if I'm mm. really walking with Jesus, then I actually do need to, to do what it says, yeah. which is actually bring yeah. my yoke, yeah. bring my burdens, bring, yeah. bring my, you know, my labor yeah. to him and let him come and heal me. Definitely. You know? so, yeah. another, th another thing that I just want to add on to the end of that is um, that when we're going through a little trial period with God and he's, he's convicting us to do something yeah. about it, mm -hmm. we know it's a bit of a challenge and all we see, tend to see in that moment is the challenge of that. Yeah. But what we don't see is that once we've gone through that, the surprises that God brings, yeah because we've gone through it. Yeah, like he, he gives us amazing things to delight yeah, in that's it. once we've got to the other side. Yeah. Um, and we see, we, it's like we go through a gate on the top of a hill and there's like, a, you go through a gate and a wall and you come to, there's a whole new horizon that mm. opens up about what the possibilities are with yeah, God and the opportunities it. with God and what he can then do. Um, and just the blessings that can come as a result of it for mm. ourselves and for others around us. So, mm. you know, we don't always see the the promised land before we get there yeah, absolutely. um but you have to go through the trial yeah. Yeah. to get there and yeah, um just trusting learning to trust god and Ooh. actually learning to delight in those moments where oh i'm just being trained now yeah you know that's yeah. a quite a tough thing to learn as a yeah. as a maturing christian but it's so important yeah definitely cool right we're gonna wrap it up there yeah um thanks for watching the first well i say first breakdown well thanks for watching the breakdown and we'll be back next week for a new one please like share subscribe and get in the comments and let us know what god spoke to you through this message cheers nice. take care folks thanks